previously on the last episode of Lemon Land. And we're right back at the strip mine and we're just gonna continue going straight. And this will just go straight, 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 straight. Hello there. I have exactly two stacks of coal. No, I don't. I don't even have one. And now on to the villager breeder. To start thinking about your villager breeder, first you're gonna need to collect materials. You need to find, well, first villagers and then also sheep because you need at least four beds. So four beds, I need 12 wool. Thankfully, I have people here who can help me. You, that sheep gave me three. Oh, wrong thing, I'm sorry. <laughs> All right, so another thing that we could do is already try to transport some villagers. Also saw a cat around here, so that's why I have that out there. There we go, let me see if I can find the cat. If not, that's cool. Three hours later. All right, so I give up on that cat. Let me go find another one, no one that wants to be with me. You know what, I'm sick of their games. I can't find anything. I'm gonna take two villagers back and abduct them into my area. Let's see, villager who wants to be part of my town. This guy. You unsuspecting winner. Yay, there he is. So let's go back to the what how we go. All right, see you back. We're gonna bring these people back to our base and we're gonna hide them. And then once we're ready to start, we can actually bring them into the place where we're gonna start building. Corner him. Yes. All right, so let's take this other loser back. I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, this other winner back to this house because he just won. Wow. Hopefully the other guy didn't die. That would be bad. And we're gonna land him here. Alrighty. Let's see, hopefully the cat teleports to me. Oh, there you are. Cats, I tell you, they have their ways. Over here, nice. Close that door, yeah! All right, so first thing we gotta do when getting ready for the villager breeder that we're gonna put here is we need to prepare the land. But before you do that, check out the materials that you're gonna use. Pretty much composter, some trap doors, and four beds, plus a hoe, and some carrots, preferably. You can use other things. Also, shout out to my boy Waddles, again, with this idea for the villager breeder which works really well so we also have an option to turn it off this is optional i went and i got my lime balls from the other one that i killed it wasn't really necessary but it's optional and i'll tell you why in a second but first we got to prepare this land and the way we're going to do that is we're going to take down this little ridge just like that and the sand sort of should fall same thing with that and all this all right so now we have a little bit of a area there and um, then what we gotta do is we gotta find the center of this location so it looks like the center could be let's see if I take out my dirt center might be somewhere here yeah let's go out from here maybe make a way out like that okay so actually what if we made the center right right here okay that'll be the center so we'll go center there place a block i'm gonna place a block of wood just like that that's our center and from the center we're gonna go out four in each direction so we have one two three four and then we're gonna put a spacer right there and then we're gonna go one two three four and then out this way one, two, three, four, and dig this out because it has to be dirt. And then out this way, we're gonna go one, two, three, four. All right, perfect. So then we're gonna just prepare this land by turning it all to dirt. All right, so once you have this whole area ready for made out of dirt and ready to go, you can take out this one and this center block. So this is the one dug down. We're gonna place a half slab there. We're gonna log that with water like that. And then we're gonna grab our composter and we're gonna go right on top, just like that. Nice. All right, next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna grab, um, well, this two oak, sure. We'll go right on top and we'll place it right, right on top like that. And then, hmm, that's not gonna work out. 
maybe like that, but just like that. Okay, great. So that will stop the villagers from climbing up onto that and instead of being down here. Okay, so that's that step taken care of. Now, we need to build walls around this and the walls that I'm looking at are, we might as well, well, if we're hanging up on top like this, maybe we go in with a cobble base like that, maybe this will be all surrounded by cobble, just like that. And then the walls have to be too high. All right, well, we'll get out of that. Maybe we'll make this a type of house area. Okay, so then that's, that's there. And then, and then, and then what? And then, well, we can just connect that together. We'll use a sandstone just below there as a base and then we'll come in with sand just like that okay so that's done then we're gonna start i guess pillaring we're just gonna make some pillars so let's go up one two three just like that on each corner one two three two three and then Oops, I put that in the wrong spot. One, two, three. All right, so that's taken care of. And then just right here. Nice, let me take out this sand, put that there. Okay, so we got like this area. And so on one side, and I'm thinking it's gonna be here. What we're gonna do is actually from center, we're gonna go, this is gonna count one block, two block, and we're gonna dig those out just like that and we have an opening there. That's where the bay villagers are gonna be following in. And we actually take out this sand and that sand and we're gonna actually put cobble, cobble, just like that. And then we'll have a area right here where we're gonna put our beds. And the beds, three by three platform right there. We'll make that out of spruce planks. All right, we got a nice area there. Put a three pillar right there and then out this way, another three pillar and then another. I'm actually gonna take this out. I'm gonna put a three pillar right here and another one right here. There we go. And actually, this can actually be doubled. We're actually gonna double that just like so. All right, so Actually, before we fall into that, what we're going to do is we're going to grab our trap doors, which are in the chest. There they are. And we're actually going to place them against these walls. Oh, maybe not like that. Oh, well, there goes that. Just like that. And we flip them down just like so. Flip them down and we, we can flip them up and we can walk across it. And you'll see why in a second, because, um, creatures in Minecraft they see this as walkable space because there is a block like that but it's actually open so then they actually will fall down in here and we'll work in this area in a little bit but first let me actually just uh, light this place up so we do not get any creatures scaring us while we work the last difference we're gonna do here the last change is that we're gonna actually take some cobblestone and fill that up and then we're gonna take a trapdoor and put it right here. Nope, facing from this direction, right there. That way it closes, there we go. So the adults cannot pass this way, but the little children can, and we're gonna actually block it. Open that up now. All right, that looks pretty good. Now, inside, what we're gonna do, we're gonna take uh, spruce planks and just go like this. Mm. Maybe what we'll do is we'll run, let's see, two, two, two. Let's see if we have a line going down. If I can put a spruce log there and a spruce log there. Actually, but I'm gonna do that like that. All right, so we're gonna just continue that design. Actually gonna open this up. All right, so we got a nice place, just like that. And then, and then while we work on this, we can actually add a dirt roof because we're gonna be adding a nice 
like house style taiga roof to this so don't even worry about it i yet so we're just gonna add this for temporary reasons all right so that looks good okay so next thing we're gonna grab the beds and we're gonna actually walk over this way and we're gonna go one two three four beds just like that Ooh, and then we have to design this area still um this area i'm just feeling just maybe like a base of planks just like that and then actually we can also come in back over here with planks just like that we can even do some of this stuff if we go cobble 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 and we can put like a window there windows all around and we can actually just um yeah, well, 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 we'll stop that for now on that side. So that's good. And then actually we'll open that up. All right, next step is simple. We'll just uh, be hoeing the ground. And we're gonna plant our carrots. All right, garden is nice and planted and it's ready. Looks great. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring in the villagers, but actually let me finish up that area on that side, that way it's not dangerous. From afar, it doesn't look very impressive, but once we finish it, it'll look respectable, I think. Respectable is where I wanna go with this, you know, nothing crazy. So inside looks good. So let's cross over here. I just wanna secure this area before anything so let me i've got some glass panes and we're gonna actually go like this because nobody's gonna be in here so i need oh one more glass pane 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 mm, maybe not maybe not one more glass pane maybe we'll just do this <laughs> there we go that's fine um in here we can add like some window if we add a window here make sure it's a full block so the babies can't jump up on there right cool place oh also just here we can walk around this post and put torches there that should be good all right now now we see we're gonna redo the roof but let's get them in here first i don't know what i just wasted a sandstone there the last thing before we bring the villagers in here is we're gonna have to figure out our mechanism right here they're gonna fall down Make sure we're gonna close this trap door. Am I able to? If I walk this way, I'll close that. Open this up, fall down. All right, so now we gotta fix this area. So I'm gonna grab me some sandstone. We're gonna go just like that. All right, so this is gonna walk down this way. So maybe what we can do is have them come out this way and then jump into boats here. And then from here, take them out that way. So if you think about it, they're gonna be coming this way. We'll grab more cobblestone we'll go here. And then we need like a holding area. So I'm gonna dig out one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and nine by nine. Or three by three, sorry. Just like that. And that's gonna be actually filled with water. From here we can actually take them straight down this way. Okay, so then once that's done, then we can start filling in some water. We'll actually go water there. Ah no to destroy that there we go fall in there that's perfect and that should take them all the way out fence gate right there that's gonna stop them okay so we'll go there to make this a source all right nice so that's done and then i can just punch these out nice and that should flow down ah, i missed by one block I think that's good we can destroy this okay so we have our area here now let's get the villagers inside and while we're at it over here so now we have the sandstone roof actually what we're gonna do on this side is actually we're gonna put a cobblestone there and then we'll open this up and then we'll put a sticky piston like that and then a cobblestone that way when we power that piston it'll close this off and then nobody will be able to see the beds and then the villager breeder will be off so we had stored the villagers over there last time we we're gonna go get them when moving villagers it's really helpful to have a barrel around because then they they are attracted by workstations so they're right over here this is where i put them last time this is where i stored them hopefully they're still alive <laughs> hello anybody in there all right they're both here so let's grab one of them 
we'll head on out. Now what we're gonna do is actually stop them there. They should be lured by what's up there. And they should be able to get out. I'm hoping. Nice, they're out. Okay, so let's see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You go here. Come on, this way. This way, please. This way. Come on, get up there. Come on. No, what are you doing? All right, well, that's the way you want to go. That's fine with me. All right, villager number one is in. That's our farmer villager. Nice. So now we'll go get the other one. So as we near, what we're going to do is take this barrel and have it ready. Place it here. And then we're going to open up this area. We're going to let this person go free. Okay, so it sees something. It's going to walk towards the barrel. Okay, good. Take the barrel and move it up over here. Follow it. Yes, you are. Alrighty, we got our villagers. So then we're going to take care of this. Only one of them needs the job. Now, while in here, now they should get busy. Mm -hmm. Very good. So villagers need food to breed. So now you can start it giving them 12 each. Oh, hopefully they're passing the food along. That sounds good. We'll go 12 here and 12 there. Come on child where's the child oh <gasps> child where's the child child went down into the hole oh he went down he went down he went down gotta get gotta go gotta go gotta go he should be right here welcome welcome little one hello oh you're so cool all right so we'll do that let me push it this way open the fence gate he should fall right in Yes! In the boat! All right, let's go. We can actually build a protection wall so that nothing can get to them. Make sure it's nice and bright and the flow right there is gonna prevent them or prevent him from leaving. Make sure that this is bright too. Nice, the villager breeder works and I'm super happy. That's super cool. Okay, so now we need to terraform this place. Make it look decent. Is it even a house? I don't even know. <laughs> It's so ugly though. I know it really is. I'm gonna keep this on for now because I'm over here working. Yeah, that's pretty much the villager breeder. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed this episode of Lemonland. And I'll catch you in the next one. See ya!